A visionary businessman and strong proponent of corporate social responsibility, Bob Hansberger made a long-lasting contribution to businesses and to other institutions in Idaho and across the country. He championed education, the arts and humanities, healthcare, and the environment. Bob was born in 1920 in Worthington, Minnesota. He was on the football and basketball teams and played the tuba and other instruments in high school. He led the debate team to the national finals his junior and senior years. He graduated from Worthington Junior College in 1940, where he met his future wife, Clara Kylie, and later graduated from the University of Minnesota. Upon graduation, Bob joined the Naval Ordnance Research Laboratory, where he was in charge of the mechanical design section of a top secret World War II project to improve the U.S. submarine torpedo. He patented three different mechanisms related to torpedo guidance, aiming, and testing. After the war ended, he attended Harvard Business School, graduating in 1947 with high distinction, and he was chosen as the commencement speaker. In 1957, Boise Payette Lumber Company hired Bob as its president. Soon after that, Boise Payette merged with Cascade Lumber Company to form Boise Cascade Corporation. Between 1957 and 1972, Boise Cascade completed more than 40 mergers and acquisitions that significantly diversified the company and built it into an international business. To manage this growth, Bob recruited and largely handpicked an extremely talented group of managers. He looked for integrity, fire in the belly, and trustworthiness. He had an amazing way of giving employees responsibility and the authority to prove themselves. Most successful corporations at the time were what he coined gear trains, where each individual represented an individual gear that meshed with all the other individual gears in the company. The president was the largest gear, the vice president was slightly smaller, and so forth down the line. Bob told of a time when a foreman stood up and said, well, now this is all very nice, but I would like to point out that with the gear ratio you have, every time the president makes a quarter turn, I have to spin around 16 times. Bob thought a long time about the disadvantages of a top-down world, its non-productive departments, the inherent friction loss, and substituted the gear train with direct drive. In direct drive, every individual powers his own propeller, which admittedly was a more difficult management problem, but which had the advantage of individual control over one's pitch, speed, and diameter allowing one to adopt the method which, for him, gets the most effective results. And most importantly, in direct drive, we have no limitation on the extent of individual output. He often said, money is just a way to keep score. Time, however, is precious. It's the one thing you can't make, buy, or get back. In 1972, Bob retired from Boise Cascade and built Futura Corporation, a closely held family business with diversified operations. He retired from Futura in 2007. Bob was appointed to three United States presidential commissions, and Idaho governors appointed Bob to chair numerous Idaho state commissions. For many years, Bob taught business classes at the business school at Boise State University. He also served as an overseer of Harvard University, as a trustee of the California Institute of Technology, and as a director of the Stanford Research Institute. He appreciated the change in seasons and the vastness of the Idaho mountains. Robert Vale Hansberger, businessman and civic leader, passed away peacefully in 2008 at the age of 87.